surfing when we were about 12 years old, but grew up at the beach before that. Yep, we were in the water probably even at six or seven years old, boogie boarding or skimboarding, and then we started surfing in about sixth grade. And uh, my favorite part of surfing would probably be just to be away from society and everything that comes with being on the beach kind of having my back to everything else and being out in the ocean. My favorite part about surfing is that it's always there, just like behind us. It's always there to go jump in if you need to, whenever you can, before or after work. Definitely not, not. professional We're surfers. Not. Uh, we grew up competing and had some success when we were younger, just like you girls in dance and acting. Um, but have just carried it on since then as a passion. I would say get out there and try it. It's fairly simple, even if you're just riding the board with your belly, like a bodyboard or even a surfboard, and not standing up. Um, and you can try to stand up too by yourself. It's very fun. Either way, riding a wave is awesome. This would not to be intimidated. I think a lot of people get scared or overwhelmed from the waves and also just because they think it's difficult, but like David said, it's just like anything, you can figure it out. And I have another thing to add to that. Um, a lot of people are scared of sharks and sharks are very rare to surf. To, it, it's very rare to see sharks in the water and um, being attacked by a shark, you have way more chance getting in a car accident or plane crash than even being attacked by it. So don't be scared of trucks. Get out in the water. Well, waves are always changing, so I guess that's probably like the number one challenge. Or just when there's a lot of people in the water. David doesn't seem to have a problem with that. I, I surf almost every day each week, but at least about four to five times a week. And I I try to. Right now not at all, but I try to I would say I try to get in the water every day. It comes down to a lot less. We grew up surfing together and we lived right up the street from the ocean in Del Mar. So at 12 years old, starting at 11 or 12 years old, we'd um, run down and surf together just about every day. And it got to a point in middle school where we had independent surf PE. So we were about 12, 13, and we could um, run down to the beach before school in the morning and we actually had an extended period where we could surf. So we'd surf till about eight or nine every morning together. While all the other kids were running yeah. the track and stuff. And then we'd um, run back up the hill and bike off to school together. And so that's kind of the earliest memories we have. Um, so um, it's, it's, there's definitely it's, it's cardio. An upper, it's an upper body. Work out just from all the paddles because every time you ride a wave, which doesn't take a whole lot of energy, you gotta get back out through the wave. So, I'd say it's, the, it's a, pretty much the opposite of bicycling, you know. But it's surfing's absolutely very active, and um, with a little bit of stretching, uh, I, I, I'm 28 and I've been in great shape from surfing alone. That's pretty much all I do as a as an activity. Our earliest trip together was probably to Cabo, San Lucas in Mexico, great surf down there. We've also gone to Costa Rica when we were probably 14 and 17, we went together. Um, we've been to Ecuador, we, we've been countless times to Hawaii together. Um, and then on our own, I've been to Indonesia and he's been to South America, um, places like Chile and um, Nicaragua. 
So we're, we've been fortunate enough to travel the world and, and surf all around the world. Um, a good wave, you know, doesn't have any wind. Typically we don't like the wind because uh, it scuffs up the face and makes it bumpy. Um, and then I personally like a little bit bigger waves, um, longer waves, you get a longer ride, and that's about it. And I'd say the waves I look for and most surfers look for are also hollow waves, which means you're looking for a barrel. Um, and that typically actually you can have wind for that but it would be the right wind that surfers like which is offshore and it holds the wave up so that it does barrel um, and to me there's no better feeling than than getting a barrel longboards uh, it's just a different style of surfing uh, beginners obviously start on a longer board because it's easier you have more uh, volume under you but then after that, you know, there are really great surfers that surf longboards. Uh, David and I ride shortboards, which are more high performance, more for turns, and I ride around like a 5'8". David rides probably around 5'10". Yeah. So. Uh, but it's just easier maneuverability and faster, typically. And so that's the difference.